Hey guys, it's Serge from Swiss Tesla Fans. So uh, today we're doing a new video. A couple of weeks ago, Tesla finally released something that we've been waiting for a long time in Switzerland. It was available in a lot of different countries, but it's the first time that it's finally available here. It's remote cameras for Teslas. So uh, we're gonna show, demo uh, the feature, but we're also gonna show you how to actually activate it uh, because you actually need to do something in the car before you can use it on your phone. So we're going to do this right now, but before I get there, I wanted to say that if you like this video and if you uh, appreciate this content, make sure to like and subscribe. And of course, uh, if you're interested in buying a Tesla or if you're interested in upgrading to a new Tesla, uh, you should definitely use my referral code that I'll put in the description down below. Okay, I'm going to show you how to turn uh, the settings on. So first we have to go to safety, then uh, you need to activate sentry mode. So we're gonna turn it on. And then you need to activate the View Live Camera via a mobile app. So that's gonna display a big disclaimer. I'm not gonna read all of it, but I just wanted to say, when in use, the car headlights will pulse and the touchscreen will so sentry mode is activated. So that's important. Uh, basically, whenever you use this remotely, the car will actually blink. We'll try to show you that. So I'm just gonna say, yes, I want to activate the live camera access. Okay, and uh, now before we get out of the car, what I'm going to do is I have my, do my dog in the back, so I'm just going to activate dog mode because we could either use sentry mode if nobody's in the car or we could use dog mode and this is what I'm going to do since my dog is in the car. So that's it and let's get out of the car now. Okay, so I have got the app on and you can see the car behind me. And watch for the lights if you can, uh, because they might blink while I'm actually turning this on. So now I'm loading up uh, the live view of the cameras. So this is highly dependent on your network quality. So uh, depending on uh, the quality of your mobile network to the car and to my phone, it might take uh, some time. So right now I'm still waiting. It's not doing anything. Uh, hopefully it'll connect to the car. So we're going to wait a little bit. Ah, oh, here we go. And so now you can see, uh, this is the interior camera, uh, basically maybe in the back, well, I think the dog is sleeping, so you can't see. And now I can click on the right button here um, at, the, at the side of the app. I can click here and then I can see all the different views of the front camera, the back camera, the left camera and the right camera all together at the same time. Okay, as you can notice, I'm right next door to the airport, so you'll see some planes from time to time. That's cool. All right, so now we can actually uh, select the camera we want. So we can choose the front camera. Then we can go in uh, clockwise. So here you can see me. I'm actually uh, here next to the camera. You can see me. And now uh, I'm going to the side, to the back, then to the other side, and finally uh, the front fender camera. And I can go back, of course, into the rear view camera. Now there's something else I can do. I can actually make the car uh, make some things such as, I'm gonna just wait for a second. I can, for example, make the car honk, but I'm just gonna wait until there's no more uh, cars passing here. So let's go, three, two, one. There we go. There the car honked. Now I can also make it flash its lights. Okay, I don't know if you saw that, but I'll do it again. I flash the lights here. Yeah, there we go. And I can also make the car fart. I don't know if you heard that, but basically, let me try to get closer. Okay, and the last thing is there's a button here for a microphone that I can press and hold. One, two, one, two. And you can hear me. You can actually hear me. I'm, I'm talking through the speaker. And I actually sound like a very low voice. So this actually did not work earlier. Uh, it's not working. I guess there was an update. Okay, so that's it for the demo of the uh, uh, camera view. Um, it seems to work pretty fine. Uh, depending on your network, of course, it might work uh, more or less good. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool feature to have finally in these cars. 
Okay, so as you saw, uh, we were outside uh, showing the camera views. I'm sorry about the noise. Uh, we're right next to the airport, so it was a bit loud. So um, before I conclude, uh, there's a message I'd like you guys to have. And so I'm going to uh, turn the camera over to somebody else. Okay, so I was the cameraman for almost the whole video. And I just wanted to say that um, I've been getting a lot of support from my YouTube channel. If you want to go subscribe to, to it, it will be it will mean the world to me. My channel name is The Real Skills. Uh, don't look don't look this up because otherwise you won't find it. But just look up my username and like my videos because my videos have not been doing great. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. And uh, if you did, make sure to put a like and uh, hit the subscribe button to get notified when I uh, release my next video. And of course, if you're interested in buying one of these cars or if you're interested in upgrading, make sure you use the referral link that's uh, down in the description below. Also, don't forget um, uh, the message that you had before about the uh, channel that my cameraman has actually uh, promoted. Uh, it would help him and he's actually also helping me. So that's a great thing. All right. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.